I can't believe I'm starting this vlog off on a Wednesday evening. Um, oh, let me adjust this a little bit. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna sneeze. Please don't be your pants. <coughs> oh, oh, excuse me. Um, gosh, what have I been doing the past two days? Oh, yesterday, I was not having a good day. Um, I basically, I don't know what like to set me over the edge a little bit, but we got back from camping on Monday. And so that was kind of the end of that, that vlog. And then yesterday I just like, it just all hit me at once, like how behind I am and like taking a week off for myself when that happened to Leo was really good for me, like emotionally and stuff and mentally, but like coming back, I just feel like I'm so underwater, like I'm so behind on everything. So, um, and then right now I'm actually gonna get on a Zoom right now and do a little bit of baby shower game planning with my stepmom and my mom. So I'm about to do that and then I'm going to get back to editing. Uh, and I still need to do some cardio today. So basically just a jam packed day full of stuff. Um, but not very interesting stuff. <laughs> I just ordered some sushi from DoorDash as well. Uh, I love DoorDash for like, I, I had every intention to go to the grocery store today and like get some stuff, but there's people in the kitchen all day today. I couldn't cook any food. So I just ordered DoorDash and I've got a code in the description box. If you guys want and you've never used it, you get 30 bucks off. Um, it's not sponsored, but I wish it were because they use DoorDash a ton. Our tile backsplash is getting put started tomorrow too, which is very exciting. So I'm pretty, pretty stoked on that. One eternity later. I just finished editing a vlog that's going up tomorrow. So I'm going to have one of my favorite treats that I haven't had for a couple weeks. It's kind of a little late to be eating that and I didn't get any workout in today. So I probably shouldn't be eating that. I'm feeling a bit guilty about it, but I am just going to do what I want right now. I just put a poll on my Instagram last night asking if I should just sleep in or not. And you guys were like, sleep in. And today is the one morning that I do I actually have to get up early. <sighs> um, so yeah, before the doctor's appointment, uh, hopefully Nick and I are gonna go grab breakfast. I am, let me open my gate for this guy. What you doing, buddy? Oh, it's already opening. Um, I'm gonna go pick up Nick at work from his station. Oh, sorry, Piper, I just like hit the brakes way too hard. Um, it's early. Uh, they need to warm up. But go, yeah, I'm gonna go pick up Nick from his station and then we're gonna hopefully go grab some breakfast. One of my favorite places in Carlsbad is called Cafe Topes. So I don't know if they're open this early, but I guess we're gonna find out. Finally, and he's fucking wearing shorts. It's 52 degrees outside. <laughs> How do you have shorts on right now? It's like hot out. I can see your breath. Yeah. I didn't. Oh, smoking cigarettes. Lots of cigarettes. Whatever. <clears throat> There's someone in the back to see you. Oh. Hola, bibita. Como estas? <laughs> I forgot to bring my vlog camera in, but I couldn't resist. I said I wasn't gonna do it, but I did it. But this was an egg white scramble, so we did like kind of healthy. Your potatoes look good. Tasty. What do you got there? Hmm? What do you got there? <laughs> I got this for the baby shower. I wish it was pink, but I guess I'm incorporating turquoise, incorporating turquoise now. If we have the Bronco out for photo ops, that'll actually be kind of cute. Exciting on backsplash arrangement. It would almost be better to do the hood in so you can see the tile. Yeah. And then the same thing, if, if the hood's gonna conceal a lot of that, then you're probably right. We should only go to this height. <laughs> what do you think, boss? <laughs> I hate the crowds. 
Which one do you think looks best with it? It's hard to see, like. Okay, so let's take this into the. We'll get some That's a good idea. True light. This tile is going to be not only going there and in the dog bowl, but it's also going in the pantry. Very nice. I'm trying to look at these outside to see grouts. They're working on the tile right now, so I want to show you guys the pantry before it gets tiled. This tile is kind of a bitch to figure out like how it lays, but they're smart, so thank God for that. <laughs> Pattern. Um, nice. So you can see it does a mirror and then a linear. This one needs to be like this though. Yeah, I was gonna say, I think that straight part ends into the two that are split. Right. Yeah. Yep. About to give Fernanda a little nail trim and a soak. I haven't checked in with you guys for a while with her because I've just been super freaking busy. Oh shit, almost fell over. <laughs> also, she's doing really well. She still opens her mouth a little bit when I come to the cage, but um, she's doing really good. So I'm pretty, pretty impressed. So we're gonna trim the nails and then I'm gonna give her a little bit of bath time. Do the back ones. You gonna let me do the back ones? We are soaking little Miss Fernanda. That we're actually not sure if uh, he is a boy or a girl yet. <laughs> actually, the back end is kind of looking like a boy, but his head looks like a girl, so we don't know. Are we soaking you? We're soaking a little beardy, and then I'm gonna probably soak a couple others. I'm just kind of like in between cleaning right now. I feel like I'm just like waddling around. Part of it is because my back is killing me as usual, but I, yeah, I'm like literally just like waddling around um, and I feel like huge. This is just, my mom said it's gonna get bigger. I've got about two months left. I hope it doesn't get any bigger. <laughs> Dang, look at it. It's so good. Oh my gosh, they may not be ripping out that wall. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Well, tomorrow's a really exciting day because they're going to be getting rid of that fucking dick. Uh, this fireplace is being demoed. That actually kind of looks like a tagger's rating, like that S. Okay, seriously, these guys are gonna be like, what the fuck? Happy Friday. I just wanted to share that I just went poop and it's very exciting. Hopefully no one's in here working already. They just walk and they don't knock or anything. I don't think anyone's here yet. Um, uh, I am up super early because I just took Nick to work because he took my truck to work the other day and then I picked him up for my doctor's appointment um, where I took you guys and showed you the station. Uh, so we left the truck there and then I just dropped him off. And today is like so gross. Look at the weather today. It is just like rainy and gloomy and just a recipe for wanting to chill on the couch and not do anything. Today, I don't get that luxury. I, um, Basically, need to, I'm gonna try and get some cardio out of the way right now because I keep trying to do it and my back just hurts too bad when I wait till the end of the day. Like my whole body just hurts. So, and my feet from the extra weight. So I'm gonna try and do it right now before anything else. Um, watch some TV and then we've got the people coming to demo the fireplace. It's gonna be very loud in here all day. So, um, it's, kind of stressing me out because as a stoked as I am that things are getting done, it's just like, okay, yay, I have a day where Nick's at work and I can work and get stuff done and try and get ahead of schedule because we're leaving on our baby moon. And then when I come back, pretty much don't have much time before family gets here for the baby shower. So I'm like, really want to get ahead on like filming and like things like that. And like, I just, I can't do that today because there's just going to be 
people in here until like 5, 6 p.m. making a lot of noise with jackhammers and stuff. So I don't really know what I'm going to do today. Um, maybe a bit of editing if it's not too loud, but we'll see how it goes. It's just raining men right now. Like it is so, it's like, it's coming down. So I'm going to try and get on the treadmill and do that. And I don't know, I may try and take a nap at some point, even with all that noise going on with some earplugs. I don't know, but <clears throat> I also need a pack for Mexico. That's something I could do. That's won't the noise won't really affect. So wish me luck on cardio. My feet were hurting this morning because like when my left one was a little swollen and it was hurting when I started to walk on it. But walking and drinking lots of water should help with some of um, that. I haven't really been swollen at all, but definitely that will help a little bit. <clears throat> I'm gonna put on this belly band because maybe it helps. <laughs> Uh, I've only worn it for a day so far, so that's why I said maybe it helps, because I don't really know yet, but it makes sense. It helps hold your belly on there, so that'll be good for walking, I think, with the gravity. All right, Junk TV, let's do it. What do you guys think about the Kanye West and Kim Kardashian situation? Like... Have you picked a side? Do you know much about it? I don't know a lot about it, but it all just seems kind of crazy. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know much about it, so I don't really have an opinion, I guess, but I'd love to hear yours. Piper is going to the groomer for the first time ever. It's kind of actually really sad because this is actually Leo's grooming appointment, but we made an adjustment um, because Piper really needs her anal glands expressed and just needs a bath. Um, she has never been to the groomer. She's only had a bath at home and she's never had her anal glands expressed. So I'm feeling a little bad for her on that, but Apparently Nick has been smelling it pretty bad and is like, she needs her anal glands expressed. I haven't smelt anything, so I don't really know what he's talking about. But um, yeah, so gonna go and drop her off. The driveway is an absolute clusterfuck right now. Our motorhome's up there, my car was up there. The demo guys have a big truck and trailer. Everyone is gone for the day, finally. <laughs> Uh, okay, so the guys doing the fireplace demo are coming back tomorrow, which I have to say I'm pretty bummed about. Don't get me wrong, I'm glad it's getting done, but tomorrow, Saturday and Sunday are my last two days when no one was supposed to be here to film content for while I'm gone and when my family's in town for the baby shower. Um, Leo, those two weeks that I had to take off really messed with my rhythm because I was planning on getting all of that pre-filming done then, it did not happen. So we leave Monday night, I'm filming all day Monday for the podcast. <laughs> uh, so I'm a little stressed out and ticked off that there's gonna be people in here making noise with jackhammers tomorrow again, but I'm just, I'm glad it's getting done. Um, it's been really hard to just film and do what I do for a living in this house the last nine months with the noise that's been going on. It's been challenging. I also got a sponsored video, finally, but look at my house. <laughs> so I was like, I'm sorry I was gonna film it yet tomorrow, but now I can't. Um, but with that being said, let's take a look at the progress. Let's take a look at the fireplace. I haven't seen it yet. So this has uh, been zoned off. They didn't do this initially to recover anything. So thankfully, they, wow, what a tape job up there. <laughs> they uh, did this, um, but let's check it out. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Dang, they're gonna be done with this, dude. Like, this isn't gonna take long. Oh my goodness. Holy heck, crazy. I feel like I'm in 
an episode of Dexter. So we got a little bit more of the tiling done here as well. Hi, Pipey. Um, and they finished the tile in here. I'm so excited to see this. Ah, it looks so good. Choosing this grout color was a little difficult and I think we nailed it. I wanted to show you guys a couple things that I got and we're gonna do a little try on stuff. So I checked out this place called Monday Swimwear or Beachwear and they had some really cute things and they were actually written up in someone's blog for being really good for large chests. Now I'm seeing the size of this cup and I'm thinking that maybe we this might be the ticket. I have been having such a hard time finding bathing suits that fit me um, because typically there's just not enough support or large enough cups for my boobs since I got them done. So I got um, a little shirt to go over. This is a black bathing suit. And then this is this super fun pattern. And usually I don't gravitate towards bathing suits that have patterns. So hopefully this works. I also really like this bag for like traveling, for putting like, I don't know, even receipts in or like wet bathing suits. And this guy is a wrap. So I'm gonna try those on. I also just got this beach bag. You know that section when you're checking out like at Home Goods or TJ Maxx and it's like, you need this. And it's just like all this stuff that you don't need, but you need. <laughs> That's where I found this. Oh, it even has a little bag in here. I needed a beach bag. I was like, I have, every time I go to Mexico, I never have a beach bag. Oh, this is actually Tommy Bahama. Wow. Here is the first one. So one of the reasons, so this is a large and this I believe is also large. So both of these are large. Um, my nipple is like right here. So that could pop out pretty easily. However, the cup size actually mostly fits around my boobs. I could use a little bit larger of a cup, but I like this because I don't know if you can tell it ties in the back right here, which makes it so that oh, that's so not in the center. That's going to drive me nuts. Uh, but it makes it so that if you're back, like I always have a problem with this cutting into my back, which makes me very uncomfortable and makes my like back fat just like spill over. So the fact that that ties, it gives you some play with the bathing suit. One thing that is a little uncomfortable with this bathing suit is where this attaches is like right here. And usually it's like back here. So it kind of feels like this could fall down at any moment, but um, I would almost go with <laughs> like a half size bigger on the bottoms. Um, it's, it's getting close to being like too tight right here, but I also have a giant stomach, so. I think we did pretty good on this one and I think I'm gonna keep it. I think even after I have the baby, like this will fit because I could do with these being a little bit looser. Here is this guy. I honestly don't know how to wear these or tie them. This seems like really long compared to like what I saw on their website. So I'm gonna have to do a little bit of research because I have no idea how to wear one of these. I've literally never worn one in my life. So I just liked this in case like honestly I was on the beach or something and noticed that I have like pea pairs this long on the sides of my legs or something that I totally missed and um, forgot to shave because that will totally happen. It's probably what's going on down there right now. Sorry if you had to see that in the last clip. <laughs> this design is really cute. So this fabric is kind of coming up from down here and going this way. Um, you cannot change the length of this. So there is a little bit of side boob because my boobs aren't super close together, which I don't mind. This, um, I feel like you can kind of like scrunch together a little bit if you want it to be like a little bit, you know, sexier. But um, this is a large and a large, and this is obviously a little bit thicker if you don't have a giant belly pushing it out of the way. But I really like the tie on the back. Like, I think that's super cute. Again, these are fitting well, which I like because a lot of times with bathing suits, you'll get a large in the bottom in two different styles and they fit completely differently. So I'm feeling like these are all fitting the same as the other one, which is great. Again, I feel like the strap could fall over at any moment. Um, I think it should be closer towards the center of the back. So that's just me. When it's wet, it'll probably stay on a little bit better, but I'm definitely keeping this one too. 
Here's this. Um, I kind of look like a little kid with my dad's shirt on. Uh, I did look at the website and they have these rolled up and I can see why. <laughs> um, I like this super high slit so you can tell that it's meant for the beach. It's almost like a, I want to say muslin type kind of fabric, like linen-y. Uh, but this is not a cute look with the arms, so let's roll these up and see what they look like. I'm also going to... While I was putting this on and walking over here, one of my bathing suit straps did fall over my shoulder. So that is like, see it in this one too. That's my main concern with these two bathing suits that I've got. I feel like the straps are gonna be continuously falling off. I don't think I'm gonna take this to Mexico with me, unfortunately, I was really looking forward to it, but this is just too big. Like I just look, this is not even staying because it's like just so large. So I think I'm gonna return this. This is a medium large. So I feel like I should have gotten like a small medium. This is just way too big. Like it's not even staying up. Like this is not, I look like I'm wearing a potato sack. We're done with the bathing suits, but this is the Skims outfit that I opened in my last vlog. I didn't get a chance to try it on until now. This is three pieces that I've purchased that you're seeing here. There's this little over shirt that ends right under my boob right here. And then there's a tank top under here with a tag in my titty. <laughs> um, and then the pants. So I was a little worried that these pants were gonna be big, but with the baby bump, they're actually a really nice uh, like size. And I honestly don't remember what size I got. So I'll leave all the sizes that I got and everything in the description box. Just as a, um, a warning, these are rather long. I'm 5'9", and they're pulled up all the way over my belly and they're still dragging on the floor. So I would say this isn't something you would want to wear out unless you're not worried about the bottoms getting totally ruined or you can sew them up. Oh, I'm out of breath. Um, I also got a robe, so let's try that on and see what it looks like. I don't know if Nick's going to approve of this one, but I feel like I would actually probably take this off and then put the robe on. That's a lot of fabric on fabric on fabric. And there is a tie that goes with this too. It's just on that has pockets also. I like this. This is like so soft. Oh, so cozy. The fireplace is gone. I'm so excited. Check this out. My goodness, <laughs> so crazy. Um, so we gotta fill this in with cement, which sucks because that's gonna be kind of expensive. Now we need to demo that and that and this wall right here because the way that we're <clears throat> building this out, it's gonna stick out from the soffit a little bit where like the center fireplace shiplap thing is going. So um, gotta demo this a bit, but uh, I'm gonna get a quote for that tonight from the same guys who did this. They did such an awesome job. The noise is done for the day, so it's time to pack. I hate packing. I hate packing more than anything. I hate packing more than unpacking. I hate packing more than dishes. I hate packing more than doing laundry, but it has to be done. Just go ahead and get the largest suitcase out of here, <laughs> which is this one. For miles in spring. Rainbow trout and hummingbird wing. Golden. I have just finished packing my like skincare thing. If you'd like to see everything that's in here, I did do a little Instagram reel. This is a new product right here that I'm pretty excited to try out because it's SPF 50, which most of mine are more like 30 or yeah, like that one's 30. So I've got everything packed in here, ready to go. And I think I'm gonna use these guys for hair. Um, and yeah, I think I'm good to go here. I've got some perfume in there, hoops, and I'm gonna start packing a little bit of my hair stuff. But there's a few things that I do need to get. I do need to get a travel size lotion and shampoo and can oh no, I got shampoo and conditioner. I need a travel size lotion and body wash, and that's it. 
Do you guys know how many brands that have like small versions of that? I only find ones that aren't cruelty free. Like, you know, some of the big box ones like Jergens and Vaseline and like all that kind of stuff. So if you know of any that offer small sizes, let me know. Whew. It is, oh shit, I leave coffee out for my team on June's journey. But um, it is six o'clock now on Saturday night and I need to do a little bit of cardio. I'm gonna do some stretching and then I'm going to give it a rest or possibly edit this vlog. <laughs> so uh, that concludes this week's vlog and I, am, I think I'm pretty much almost done with packing tomorrow or I mean on Monday. I keep thinking it's Sunday for some reason. On Monday I'm filming some podcast stuff so once I do my makeup that day I'll pack out my makeup and throw it in there but as far as like everything else I'm pretty packed and pretty good to go so yeah but I like packing early because then I remember things that I need and want to bring so I'm gonna leave my suitcase open for a little bit. But thanks for watching guys and we will catch you in the next one and we'll see you on Thursday for some makeup content. Finally. Think about the way we used to be.